Top story this hour, a driver from a deadly car crash late last month said to be arraigned today. Governor McKee's office saying the driver worked for a transportation company contracted out by MTM. And this is not the first time drivers for subcontractors of the state's medical transportation provider have been in some trouble here. Kate Walsh is joining us live at the courthouse this morning with a preview. MTM or Medical Transportation Management is the agency that's contracted by the state to organize transportation for non emergency medical visits and appointments and they don't have their own fleet of vehicles, but they subcontract out to other transportation companies and one of those is called Assured Transportation LLC. Now MTM said that company notified them three days after a crash in late November involving one one of that company's drivers. 25 year old Dauda Elagushi of Providence will be in court here today facing a number of charges, including driving under the influence, driving without a license and driving to endanger resulting in death. That's because Coventry police say on November 27th, he was driving a 77 year old Coventry woman on a dialysis appointment when he crashed into another vehicle at the intersection of Main Street and Abbott's Crossing Road in Coventry. Now, the passenger died a few days later from injuries. Now, the state is now reviewing its contract with MTM and requiring it to do a full audit of its subcontractors right now. We have had MTM before before us oh, four or five, six times, and they always talk about correcting their problems, working with us on their issues, but they don't. They never do. And it'll be three years in June and the contract will be up. They certainly should have worked out all of the kinks by now. MTM said they have terminated their contract with that transportation company in which the driver was an employee, but Representative Serpa, who you just heard from, said that she's willing to just sever ties completely between the state and MTM. Live in Warwick, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.